It is no longer just a concern. The violent escalation is here. The two shooting attacks in Jerusalem on Friday evening and Saturday morning were followed by an attempted infiltration to the West Bank settlement of Kdumim, where the assailant was shot and killed. Israel's security cabinet met in urgent session and announced steps to deal with the rising violence. Yesterday, the cabinet approved a series of measures to fight terrorism. With one hand, we increase the deployment and activity of the security forces, and with the other hand, we extract a price from the perpetrators of terrorism and their supporters. This morning, we sealed off the home of the terrorist who carried out the attack in Jerusalem, and later his house will be demolished. We decided to deny rights and national insurance from families who support terrorism. Early Sunday morning, in accordance with that decision, the home of the terrorist who killed seven Israelis on Friday evening was sealed in preparation for its demolition. Security forces are now reinforced and the cabinet announced it is working to deny certain benefits such as social security payments to families of terrorists. It's a burning issue when those terrorists come from East Jerusalem, making them Israeli residents. All that will hopefully deter the next potential terrorist, but there is clear understanding that more violence may be coming up and the security forces by themselves will not be enough. We are expanding and speeding up the licensing of weapons to thousands of Israeli citizens. This also includes rescue services. For example, the Zaka Rescue Service has 3,000 mobile volunteers throughout the country, only a tiny handful of whom are armed. Imagine that they and others would be armed. This, of course, would significantly increase the ability to respond. The far-right ministers, Itamar Ben-Gvir and Bezalel Smotrich, asked for tougher collective punishment, but so far these measures are not supported by Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Defense Minister Yoav Gallant. The next few days will tell if the measures that they do support will bring tensions down.